time, y'all. Let's go. It's a long journey ahead of me. Alone wishing I could double you like the letter V. I'd rather be with dreams. This world wanna edit me. Cause I'm speaking the truth, but it's cool. I let it be. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel featuring Brave Frontier. This is Sir BB Shark. And uh, today we're going to do a video for Trial 7, the Arc Trial. Uh, here I'm showing you guys my squad setup. Uh, bring in Xenia lead with a Hatteron lead. And uh, Krantz is my mitigator. Uh, another Hatteron as a sub. Uh, Melchio for status null. And Rize to help nuke. Basically we're just going to play this trial very offensively. Okay, so here in this first form, uh, don't need to mitigate on that first turn at all, uh, but we'll need to mitigate on. Uh, you'll probably want to mitigate every turn from not from then on. But uh, yeah, so after you get him below like a certain point, I'm not sure. I think it was 90 or 80 percent. He brings Dion out. So as soon as he brings Dion out, focus on Dion and get him below 50 percent HP because. Uh, when the other, when, when Ark brings out more units, uh, Dion's buff gives him really good damage and that's really scary when there's a lot of units there. So once you get him below 50% you can focus back on Ark. Be sure not to kill any of the units before you get Ark below 50%. And uh, tr try not to get him below 50% too quick either, because uh, once you get him past a certain point, I think 70% or 60 or something, he brings out Balgran and Ruby. And then once you get him below 50%, he brings out the other two. So uh, once you get Arc to about 50%, I decide to use uh, Zenia UBB and then just uh, take him out. I did a little miscalculation here. I thought that would have taken out Arc and Dion which is why I suffered here, lost a unit. But yeah, after you take care of Dion and Ark, the next unit that you need to take out is Medina because she is dangerous, she can steal BB Gauge and that's really dangerous when there's too many of those units on the screen. So make sure you take out those three guys out quick, Dion, Ark, and Medina in that order and then uh, you can just cruise to the next battle. These, these four here aren't a threat at all. So before we get on to the next battle, I'm just going to take a quick uh, squad breakdown here. So Xenia lead for the damage, basically, and her UBB. Uh, Spark, BB damage modifier. The two Hatterons to nuke. Uh, Hatteron lead friend, uh, because he's uh, he gives you an attack boost and a defense boost. And as your HP goes down, it gets bigger, which is pretty good. And his defense uh, buff is really good, actually. And then uh, I'll, I'll continue that. So in the second form, we're just going to tank him down to 50% and then he'll evolve into his 7 star form. Uh, he won't live long enough to see the 6th turn, which he does a single target uh, attack where he removes buffs and then kills the unit. He's not going to live long enough to do that. So Krantz for the mitigator, he heals, he gives you light and dark. Rize to help nuke and uh, Melchio for status null and healing and then um, he also gives you uh, defense from your attack to your defense convert so um, the first two turns arc says stuff and then he attacks just normal attack and then after that you want to mitigate with arc and then defend everybody and then once you get past that revive arc I mean not arc revive your mitigator and then um, use any UBB nuke him down again and then once he gets down to 50% he does an attack where he reduces all your units HP to 1 which isn't dangerous and then continue to nuke them again and uh, that's it so the first part of this fight was actually a lot harder than the second fight uh, if you guys need uh, additional help please leave a comment below uh, this is by far my, in my opinion the easiest trial I've ever seen uh, you know, that's it got globaled. <laughs> uh, be sure to like, subscribe, favorite, share, guys. And if you guys need additional help, please leave a comment below. Uh, see you guys next time.